said the reason I can still find hope is that I keep this one thing in mind. It is the Lord's mercy. It is because of his mercy that we are not completely wiped out. It is because of his mercy that his compassion is unlimited. His mercies I knew every morning. Touch somebody and say, great is thy faithfulness. I'm glad today that my enemies don't know what I know. I'm glad today that man doesn't know what God has in store for me. But God knows the way that I take. And when he has tried me in the fire, I shall come forth as pure gold. Tell your neighbor, you got to go through the process. The process always precedes the promise. You want the promise, but you don't want the process. You've got to go through the process. I know it seems like God is taking forever and a day, but keep in mind that God is not a man that he should lie. If God said it, it's got to come to pass. Man can't block what God has for you. Your haters can't change the plans God has for your life. you got to learn how to use your haters as indicators. When you, 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 you got haters, it's a good indication that the hand of God is on your life. So I come to tell somebody to be patient. God is still working some things out for you. You've got to hold on to revelation until manifestation comes. He's just working a few more things out. He's moving a few more people around. He's exasperating a few more scheme. He's allowing your enemy to run out. Just touch somebody and say, hang in there. Don't forget what God has promised you. You've got to have enough faith to move to the next dimension of your life. You've got to have enough faith to push past your enemies. you got to push past criticism. you got to push past liars and start praising God for where you are and then praise him for where you're going. You see, that's the unique thing about the saints. They don't have to wait until the battle is over. They'll shout during the battle. They'll dance in advance. Because they know what they know. They know that God is turning some things around for them. I've come to realize that God is moving some people out of my life for a reason. You see, I took note one day of a rocket taking off from Cape Canaveral. And I noticed that when that rocket took off, it got to a certain level and stuff started falling off. You need to understand that there are some people in your life that are not going to be able to go to the altitude that God is about to take you. I call them rocket boosters. And so they got to drop off. Tell somebody, something's got to drop off. God is changing my atmosphere for a reason. God is changing folk for a reason. Enlarge your territory. Make room for your miracle. Get ready for your breakthrough. For faith is the substance of things hoped for. I stopped by to tell you that if you can't see it before you see it, you never will see it. Touch a neighbor and say, can you see it? I can see God bringing me out of this thing. I can see God delivering me. I can see God healing my body. I wish I had somebody that knows what I know. God will make a way out of no way. I'm here to tell you as I close that God's got some blessings for his people. Eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard of the good thing that God has in store for you. All I want to say to you is stay focused. Touch a neighbor and say, thank God I know what I know. Because I could have went crazy. I could have lost my mind. I could have committed suicide. I could be on the streets. But I know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. And I know 
that the Lord is faithful. And I know it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. And I know that his compassions fail not. I know that his mercies are new every morning. I know that great is thy faithfulness. Tell your neighbor, I'm glad I know what I know. I know that the Lord is good to them that wait for him. I know the Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But nuts nudge somebody and say, but I know that the Lord delivered them out of them all. I wish I had somebody. I know that John 16 and 33 said, these things have I spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And Paul said in the fourth chapter of 2 Corinthians, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet I know that we're not distressed. We are perplexed but I know that we're not in despair. We're persecuted. But I know that we're not forsaken, cast down. But I know that we're not destroyed. Is there anybody here that knows that God said that I'm going to make you the head and not the tail? Is there anybody here that knows that the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivered them out of all their trouble. I came by to tell you that all you got to do is wait on the Lord. Touch a name and say, wait on him. For weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Tell your neighbor, wait on him. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But I know that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. Tell your neighbor, hang in there. God is going to make a way for you. Quit worrying and do like Paul did when the snake jumped on his hand. The barbarians were watching him, waiting on him to die. I came to tell somebody that you got some folk who are waiting on you to drop dead. But I declare that the Bible said, God told me that I shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Tell your name, I'm going to make it. Paul shook off the viper. Tell your neighbor, shake it off. Whatever is bothering you, shake it off. The spirit that has you bound, shake it off. Shake off folk who are mistreating you. Shake off the foolishness that the devil is putting in your mind. Tell your neighbor, shake it off and learn how to praise him like you lost your mind because can't nobody do you like Jesus can't nobody love you like the Lord is there anybody here that knows that the devil is already defeated why don't you step on the devil and say you belong under my feet I know I know that there's a brighter day ahead. I know that the Lord will make a way somehow. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Look, grab your neighbor by the hand and say, don't give up now. Tell him again, don't give up now. Tell them you ought to know something. You ought to know that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Do you know that there is a bomb in Gilead? Do you know that God will make a way out of no way? Do you know that he'll open doors? 
Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. 